क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी सिक्स वेरी सिंपल प्रॉब्लम ऑफ अर्थमेटिक प्रोग्रेशन ऑल द टर्म्स आर नेचुरल नंबर एंड द रेशो ऑफ सेवेंथ एंड इलेवन टर्म द सेवन टर्म सम ऑफ द सेवन टर्म्स इज सेवन बाई टू टू ए प्लस सिक्स डी डिवाइडेड बाय इलेवन बाय टू टू ए प्लस टैन डी This is given us as six by eleven. Cancel half. We cancel eleven. This gives us seven times two a plus six d is equal to six times two a plus ten d. Now it is two a equals to eighteen d, or a is. 90 one more information is about the seventh term that the seventh term is lying between 130 and 140 i will replace a by 9d this gives us 15d so d is less than 140 by 15 and greater than 130 by 15 this leads to only one integral value of d and that is Nine. So the answer is nine. Seven. We have to find the coefficient of x raised to the power nine. Only the factors up to one plus x power nine will contribute, because in rest of the factors the powers of x are higher. So we will consider only these nine factors. in these nine factors how we are going to obtain x power 9 we have to concentrate on it first first instance in which we will have x power 9 is eight factors will contribute one one of first eight factor will be multiplied to the x power 9 of last factor then then it is two factors are contributing x and rest of the seven are contributing one so the first one is contributing x then it is one by the seven factors then x raised to the power 8 or we can say x by the first one six factor will contribute one and the last factor will contribute one so this gives us one this is seven One. This is one factor. Six factor. Seven factor. This is eight and nine. So this will generate one x raised to the power nine. So we are going to calculate how many times x power nine will appear. That gives us the coefficient of x raised to the power nine. So this way I am proceeding. Now we will consider one. I will consider this as one raised to the power seven x x power eight rather than writing in this order. I will write in this manner. it was just to make you understand so it is 1 raised to the power 7 x x raised to the power 8 it will be easier easier to understand 1 raised to power 7 x square x raised to the power 7 this way one more x raised to the power 9 appears then 1 raised to the power 7 x cube x power 6 1 raised to the power 7 x power 4 x power 5 i think you can understand this is 1 plus x power 4 This is corresponding to one plus x power five, and rest of the seven factors are contributing one. So these are five five instances. Means five is the coefficient, but still there are a few more, like one power six, then x x square and x power six. These are three factors: one plus x, one plus x square, one plus x power six. And rest of the six factors are contributing one. Now one power six x x cube. This gives us x power four. And x power five, then one power six x square x cube and x raised to the power four. These are one two three six and two eight. Eight instances, eight chances, eight terms are there in which x power nine will appear. Therefore, the coefficient of x power nine is eight. And there will be no other possibility because if we consider four factors, then the minimum power will be x x square x cube x power four. Will generate x raised to the power ten. So this is not considerable. That's why we will say the coefficient of x power nine will be eight. 
your answer is 8.